I'm intrigued now by a procedure called the stellate ganglion block, SGB. If you go to the computer and you put SGB space PTSD into a Google search, you can learn all about it. There's a man named Eugene Lipoff who's not a psychiatrist. He's an anesthesiologist, and he was giving a nerve block in the neck, a, a block that anesthetizes a part of the autonomic nervous system, the nerves that go to the heart, the liver, the lungs, the kidney, and back up to the brain. And they're part of what equips us to be ready for danger. Well, 50 years ago, stellate ganglion blocks were given for head and neck pain and in a certain kind of pain that didn't go away. Where, where the nerves that make you very aware of pain and vulnerable to pain are overactive. And we've known about giving this block for decades. Well, Dr. Lipoff gave the block to someone with head and neck pain who also had PTSD, and his PTSD went away suddenly and dramatically. My goodness, what's going on here? He did it again. Then. He trained other people, and we now have given this stellate ganglion block between two and three hundred times to people with PTSD, military, civilian, and Dr. Lipoff has agreed for ten of my patients to get the block free so that he and I together can look at this and, and, and can have uh, an intimate experience with people that we know who can describe very carefully how they are after the block. We've done it on six. Five out of the six had an immediate and dramatic result. All five of them want a second block. Time has gone by. They feel not as dramatically improved as time has gone by. Uh, I've learned from Dr. Lipoff that in most cases, in his experience, people want a second or a third block. And after two or three blocks, the relief in his experience has lasted for years. He's, he's only done it for about three years, and it's lasted for that long. Uh, should there be massive testing of this procedure? Absolutely. And he's trying to get the multi-million dollar uh, academic research controlled trial that any new intervention needs. He has FDA approval to do this. Uh, I am going to give a report on this with him if it's accepted by the Society for Traumatic Stress Studies. And research has already been reported in, in several journals on this. And it's, it's been done at uh, Walter Reed Hospital and at Tripler Army Hospital. So not only is there a chance for a surgical intervention for PTSD, but there's a chance to look at the problem in a whole different way.